As the old saying goes, lies, damned lies, and Twitter, or something like that. But scientists are working to change that with an online lie detector. Hey, this is Annie for DNews. During major events like the current uprising in Ukraine, the Arab Spring, natural disasters, or even the Olympics, social media is invaluable in getting info out to the public. But just as easily, real-time sources like Twitter can be a lie factory. Take the account Sochi Problems, which collected journalist complaints about bizarre bathrooms, hotels, and general weirdness at the Olympics, much of it hilarious. The problem? A lot of the photos weren't real, or at least they weren't actually from Sochi. In some cases, the photos were from totally unrelated stuff from Reddit. Twitter lies can have more serious consequences too, like in 2011 during the London riots. Tweets falsely reported that animals were loose from the zoo and that landmarks were on fire. Panic ensued, police were diverted, and it was bad. During Hurricane Sandy, an account called Comfortably Smug tweeted out a series of lies, including that the New York Stock Exchange was flooded, which was then retweeted hundreds of times. In 2013, the AP Twitter account was hacked by the Syrian Electronic Army, who posted that Barack Obama was injured in an explosion. Even though it was corrected pretty quickly, the tweet caused the Dow Jones to drop 100 43 points. Why are people so quick to believe these lies? That's a big question, but according to one recent study, it boils down to this. Interpreting things critically is just harder on your brain than believing it at face value, or in some cases, hitting that retweet button. It's kind of human nature. So then how do we solve the problem of misinformation? Well, some have suggested that it should actually be a crime to make stuff up on Twitter. But European scientists have a different answer. With funding from the EU, they're building an online lie detector that they say can filter out misinformation in real time. Called Called Feme, after the Greek representation of malicious gossip, the system is still in development, but the researchers hinted at some ways to tell if a tweet is a lie. Bots, for example, are a factor, or ghost accounts that don't have much activity on them. And the key is also identifying the type of lie, whether it's malicious or based on speculation or controversy, then connecting the tweet back to the original sources to assess whether it's accurate. So if we can't rely on human judgment to suss out fact from fiction online, the EU is betting that computers can. The Feme system will be tested by the Swiss Broadcasting Corporation and Institute of Psychiatry at King's College London. Do you think this will work? Should it be a crime to tell lies on Twitter? Let us know your reactions at DNews on Facebook or at our Twitter page. You can also reach me at Annie Gass. See you next time.